Said until the team gets to 11, then they can drop their sticks. And these sticks, they're very, very important to these players. Uh, this is about the only time I hold it. Looks like, uh, I think Dave Montalongo has that ball right now. Uh, Waylon's going through. Looks like he's going to score. Three to one. Three to one. be a lot of gambling going on with this game. You can see uh, people off to the side betting blankets, and horses, and money, or whatever they had on, their, on the ball team that they was pulling for, or their community team. play this game. Each tribe plays a little different. This is the way we play in uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. Three, two. Pretty sure it's 3 2. Might be 4 2. I can't remember. Dave Montalongo trying to get in there. Looks like a. off to Mr. Crow. Mr. Swain, he takes him down. As you can see, the strategy here is the blocking. You get a block for your teammates, a lot like football. Pretty sure it's 4-3. Four, four, Somebody gonna have to help me keep count here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, this game is uh, usually played during our, uh, our annual fair, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Usually about three or four teams will be playing and kind of like a little tournament style. Each team will play each other at least once. Uh, Big Cove, Wolftown, uh, Hummingbird. Uh, Mr. Crow trying to score again. 5-3, 5-3. Said our fair is coming up in a couple weeks. It'll be our 100th annual. And uh, these games take place all week. It's a week long event starting on Tuesday, October 2nd, all the way through Saturday. And you'll see a game played every day, usually between 3 and 4 o'clock. It'll be, be big crowds there to watch these games. Uh, just a few weeks ago, I believe there was a challenge game between uh, Hummingbird and I'm not sure who the other one was. Maybe Wolftown. 5-4, 5-4. And you're seeing a lot of scoring because the field isn't that big, what they're used to playing on. Some of these breakaways. Uh oh. Tied up. Five five. Now, going before this game's played, six five, six five. gentlemen they take this game very seriously before months before they even start practicing they stay away from drugs and alcohol even stay away from their women six six and these sticks they've been doctored um, whenever these uh whichever team gets to 11 first you see them drop their sticks Mr. Crow's got that ball trying to score, passes it off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Disputes uh, either between the family or community. The <laughs> score seven seven.
like I said, back in back home, there is no out of bounds on this game, but they are being a little careful of where they're at. Like during the fair, when you see these games, the people that come out to watch, the crowd that comes out to watch, are nowhere near close, as close as you guys are right now. Right there by the goal, unless he gets that ball through. gentlemen out here uh, from the Big Cove community. Uh, I think all of them but one is the Eastern Band. Uh, I got a gentleman from the Choctaw Tribe out there playing right now. Choctaw Police Officer, I believe. We had a gentleman yesterday play, Mr. Sherman Billy. He's not playing today, so I guess he might have got roughed up a little bit. Maybe, maybe he's getting a little bit old. Where you at, Sherm? See if they're past the goal right now, but unless it goes through, around. I'm not going to worry about her. 
What about the tops of her feet? Yeah, here, the tops of her feet. Nine eight. Nine eight. say the team's medicine man will be facing the direction of the team they'll be playing where they're from. So each team had their own uh, medicine man. that ball away. Teammates will be coming in to help. <laughs> 11 uh, Malachi. Now you see the teammates uh, got 11 points. It's game points, so they'll be throwing their sticks. They get to pick it up with their hands now. Uh, we like to ask the uh, spectators not to touch the sticks. And this is game point. Next point for this team it has 11 wins. And there they go right there. It looks like Mr. Hill has that ball. It's, it looks like he's getting ready to score. And that's ball game. Hope you enjoyed the exhibition by the Big Cove Stickball team of uh, Cherokee Stickball. Uh, like I said, these guys will be playing in a couple of weeks at our annual fair. Which is October 2nd to the 6th in Cherokee, North Carolina. So if you get a chance, come on up. Visit the casino and the fair, but the casino first. Like I said, there will be games throughout the week. Um, 
lot. I'm not sure if they're. Oh! I'm pretty sure they're going to be playing on the Unity Field, which is just a little bit down the road from the fairgrounds. I don't know. At the fairgrounds? Oh, they moved it back to the fairgrounds this year for the first time in a while. Well, that's it until when he's playing in. Four, five. Four forty-five. They'll be playing another game. So, come on back in a little while. They're scheduled for 4.15, but we do tend to run on ending time sometimes. Which means we'll get started when we get started. Thank you to our stickball players here to get demonstration of a stickball.